Who do you say that I am? A forty-day adventure in God. Day two, Yahweh, Lord. Life and life everlasting, the living God. Genesis chapter 2 verse 4. This is the account of the heavens and the earth when they were created, when the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. 1 Corinthians 15, 45. The first man, Adam, being a living being, the last man, Adam, is a life-giving spirit. Jesus said in, in John 11, 25 and 26, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even though he dies. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Ezekiel 37, 14. I will put my spirit in you and you will live. Today we're looking at the name of God, which is Lord. In Hebrew, that's the Yahweh word, the tetragram. And it means the life and the life everlasting, the living God. In Genesis chapter 2, verse 4, that is the first time that he, he is referred to as Lord. In Genesis chapter 1, he is quite simply God. But now he declares that he is the Lord God. He is the one who gives life and takes it away. He is the one that sustains all life. He breathed into man and man became a living being. He was no longer just clay, but he was alive. On the day of the resurrection, Jesus went into that upper room and he breathed into the disciples and he said, receive the Holy Spirit. And they became alive. They were alive in God. They became new creations, new spirit men. And the Lord is the one that sustains all life. That is just awesome. When we just imagine and think it through, that he is the Lord, everything exists because he is God, but everything lives because he is Lord. It causes us to realise, to stop and to think, he is the one that holds our very life in his hands. And he not just gives life, but he gives life everlasting. It's just so good for us as we look at these verses. We just remember that he's saying that he is the living God and the source of all life and now and forever. He says he can create life, he can sustain life, and out of him, there's only death. He is the author of the book of life. He is the Lord. He is the Lord who is life and life everlasting. As we go through this study, getting to know him more, let's make sure that we don't just know him as God, the one that created, but he is the God, the Lord, who has our life in his hands. He breathes and we live. He's created us as new beings. If you don't know him, today is the day to call out to him. Repent of your sins, believe on Jesus Christ and receive the Holy Spirit.